Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to create three teal colored makeup looks to just share with you and I do not claim to be a pro at makeup or anything, I just like to play around with makeup. So there aren't a lot of tutorials out there for monoliths, especially with brighter, bolder colors. So I decided to just create this to inspire others and also use some new products and teal colors are coming back this summer so I think they are fun to play with. There is no right or wrong way of doing makeup and I would say to just experiment with makeup until you find what's suited best for your features. So of course what I'll be doing is best suited for my eye shape and my face shape and all. So I created three looks in this video and I hope you guys like it. The first look is a neutral themed look with a pop of colour. I'll be using most of the eyeshadows from my Makeup Revolution I Heart Chocolate Palette. I'm taking the pale beige shade on my brow bone and setting my eyes with it. Then going in with a medium brown on the transition area which is just above my eyeballs for me. Darken the outer corners with a darker shade of brown to create that dimensional look. Next, I'm going to pat on a metallic gold and sponge tip applicators actually work well for this but you can also use your fingers for immediate intensity. For that pop of teal, I'm using the new Colourpop eyeshadow in Tiny Tangerines and smudging it on my lower lash line. Then put on some wing liner and extend the teal eyeshadow below the wing as well. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm using the shimmery ivory shade from the I Heart Chocolate Palette and that completes the eye look. For lip colours, depending on what you're planning on wearing, you can go with a nude brown or a nude pink to bring out the eyes. But a dark maroon will also work with this colour combination. I chose the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Istanbul for this look and I'm not going to be wearing any blush or bronzer on my cheeks. For my outfit, I'm wearing a cream floral dress to match the neutral tones on my eyes and sneakers or brown booties will go well with this dress. My second look is a smoky teal look. So using the same I Heart Chocolate palette, I'm setting my eyes again with the beige shade and taking a medium brown shade on my transition area and darkening the outer corners again with a darker brown. For the teal shade, I'm going to use the new Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Banana Daiquiri on the inner half of my lids. It's really pigmented and it has sort of a duochrome yellow gold shine to it. Then I'm going to take another new Colourpop eyeshadow in Muscle Beach and smudging it on the inner half of my lower lash line. For my outer half, I'm going to use a dark brown from the I Heart Chocolate Palette and for my inner corner highlights, I'm going to use a lighter gold shade from the same palette and take it on my brow bone as well. I think nude lips would suit this look best so that the eyes are the main focus, so I'm using a soft nude pink from JCAT in the shade Champagne Buzz. For my outfit, I'm wearing a teal floral dress so it's a very monochromatic look and I paired it with some brown cutout booties. My final look is going to be a teal liner statement look. It's really simple to do and you only need a pale vanilla shade and a dark coloured shade to add some depth to your eyes. I'm using Distressed from the Shiki palette by I Love Sarahi and Colourpop to highlight my brow bone first. Then, taking a bit of Noche or any dark or medium shade on a fluffier brush, I'm tapping it on the outer corner of my eye and blending it inwards to give my eyes more depth. Then, I'm packing on Distressed on the inner half of my eyes to even up my skin and really add dimension to the look. You can choose to go without a black liner for this look, but I think it helps to make your eyes look bigger and bolder, especially for monoliths, so I'm going to be doing a winged liner. 
For my teal liner, I'm using this glitter liner from JD Glow Cosmetics in the colour Dreams, which is a holographic aquamarine teal. The box packaging is always a delight to look at and I'm going to place it just above my black liner and here's a mini review of the glitter tube. While it is packed full of glitter, the liner actually feels quite thick and hard to spread. Layering the liner does not work well as it tends to pull product away instead. However, there is a built-in glitter glue so there is no fallout and it is transfer-proof and semi-waterproof when fully dried. Now I'm just smudging to Noshea on my lower lash line to give the eyes more smokiness. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using some iridescent highlighters from Dirty Glam Cosmetics from Etsy. I'm using Peacock first and this is an iridescent green. And layering Aquadisiac which is an iridescent blue on top of it. These highlighters have a white base so it looks almost invisible until light hits it. Finally, add some mascara to complete this look and falsies would definitely give a more dramatic look but I don't typically use them anyway. As for my lip colour, I couldn't find a matching teal with enough blue as my eyeliner in my collection so I'm going to be using this teal green from Clarity Cosmetics in the shade Ivy. This is a really pigmented liquid lipstick that dries down matte and almost transfer proof. It is a thin liquidy formula that is very comfortable to wear all day. I'm not going to be putting much colour on my cheeks because I don't want it to overwhelm the rest of my face so I just added a light touch of blush on my cheeks which might not really translate well on camera but this is how everything looks together. For my outfit, I decided to go with a black blouse with some lace-up detailing and dark blue skinny jeans. It's not too dressed up and not too casual so I think it works well with the glittery eye look. For shoes, I would recommend something black with heels so I'm wearing Lita styled platform booties and a fedora hat really wraps everything up. So those are all the looks that I created. Do you have any favourites? And should I continue doing such videos? What colour should I do next? Do let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye bye!